you know. All right. Um, <clears throat> Dimak, just send some evidence for. Let's just pause the. Whoops. How do we pause the? There we go. You guys will not uh, back down, will you? This is a video for all the people in this chat on this MC Tune. I don't even know what what he's doing on his channel tonight, but I went there, and I cannot believe the ridiculous arguments that you guys make. You guys fight against your own reality that you live in, and. I want to talk about it because it's a problem. You guys are heading for destruction and you don't even know it. And I'll try to explain that later. But uh, right now, let's go to wherever I showed up here. You can see, obviously, people comment to me all the time or whatever. Okay, everything in the universe is moving. Just so you know, Bob Nodell proved rotation and Jaronism proved the curve of the earth. Okay, that's sure. Why do you keep saying the same stupid thing over and over? Effed up is a bored carpenter. Well, that might be true. Nobody with common, this is what I said, nobody with common sense and any sort of logic would argue that because we observe the sky rotating that it's not rotating. So a very simple thing that you guys and I'm not speaking to everyone in the chat, but all the people that are uh, arguing against me, I'm saying something simple. The earth that you live on is not observed rotating by you. And the sky that you live under is observed rotating by you. That's something we should all agree on. When you get up in the morning and you get up off of your bed or you get in your car or whatever, you, you, your car has wheels because it moves over the ground that's not moving. People like to talk about a train and they say, well, if you're in a train, you, you know, there's two points they make. They're, they're, if you're in a train, you, you'd have to have acceleration in order to, uh, to know that you're moving if there was no windows on the train or whatever. Um, okay, so let me remind you guys, we're not talking about a moving train. And if a train is moving, what constitute it moving? What's the only thing that we use to say that the train is moving? We use the ground that it's on that's not moving. It has to move over the ground. We build the tracks on the ground. The tracks are not moving. The wheels of the train move on the tracks and the train is moving. Okay. Don't get into a twisted, like what you guys do are doing is you're going into some imaginary world that you don't even live in. Okay. The stars, the constellations, they move throughout the year and they cycle back. Okay. That's something we should all agree on. Uh, the, if you're, let me think what's, what's some of the other ones like, okay. Justin Franks said, uh, this is a good one. No, the star trails do not match what would be seen if the sky was rotating. Um, that's why they're star trails, Justin Franks. Okay, you mentioned ellipses. If the world was flat, then we would see a different sky? No, I'm talking about the actual sky. The one that I use my equatorial mount to track stars or the moon or whatever. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about reality. Um... Okay, Mute Donkey says, you admitted that what we see could be because I'm, I'm at the top, so I'm losing all my, all these are just going by because he's still live. Um, I cannot believe you guys are this uh, daft. And I'm, I'm not trying to insult anyone either. What I'm trying to do is, okay, so if I go outside, Justin Franks just mentioned the star trails. The star trails are proof and evidence that it's proof beyond any, it's a fact that the sky is rotating. The stars are moving. They're in motion. If you, if you want to pretend that you understand everything about the sky, you can do that. But you obviously can't figure out even that the sky is moving, that the sky is turning. Have you ever seen the space station fly over? It looks like a star. Is that not moving and it's the Earth's rotation? No. The rocket that we built to, to 
or the space shuttle, whatever, to build the ISS, we built it on the ground at zero miles an hour. It was not moving. And we had to use a bunch of fuel to get it going orbital velocity so that it could be in low Earth orbit, right? I, I don't understand why you guys can't figure the difference between one kind of motion and another kind of motion. Like you, you're, you want to say that the ground is rotating when 8 billion people or whatever observe it not rotating. We do observe it not rotating. So you want me to believe the opposite. For effed up to go to the moon on Ryan Air. I don't get it. Magic Productions, uh, by the way, uh, some of these people in here are respectful and uh, are, you know, normal to talk to, nice to talk to. Look at that, they're still talking to me. Why does Venus have phases? It's in orbit around the sun. No, you say it's in orbit around the sun. No, you haven't observed it be in orbit around the sun. You've absorb, observed it in the sky. But it was never orbiting the sun. Same with the Earth. The Earth's never orbited the sun. If, you, if you're stuck on the, that, the solar system, if you're stuck on that, you, you have to open your eyes and, and look around. Because you'll notice that the sun doesn't go around, the, or the Earth doesn't go around the sun. The sun goes like above the Earth. We all, we all observe this every day. That's what makes a day a day. Okay. So the point I'm making is that it's dumb to argue with reality. I don't have to be tied into reality because you're going to, after you watch this video, you're going to turn it off. And I hope that you take a second to realize that the room you're in or the, the lawn chair you're sitting in or wherever you are, you're making an observation that's simple, very simple. If, if I had my camera, I would put my camera on the ground to show you that all day long, every day, you make an observation of the earth being still beneath your feet. You'd freak out if it wasn't. If it was moving, there would be an earthquake. So why is an earthquake an earthquake? Because during that short period of time, the earth is actually moving. Do you, do you get the difference between something that's in motion and something that's still? Because I, I don't think you do. Or you're just trolling or you're just tr trying. I, I really think that it, uh, a lot of you actually believe that you're doing science. But here's the problem. It, speaking of the, the sky rotating and the earth being stationary. This is a big thing because if you want to do science, this is, here's how not to do science. You don't make an observation of the earth being still 24 seven, your entire life. You don't make that observation and infer the opposite. You don't infer the opposition of your observation. So what, what you're saying is, okay, I observe the earth every day, all day long being still and, and very uh, stable, very motionless all day. But I'm going to go into MC Toon's chat and ridicule and laugh at effed up world because he points out what you observed all day, that it's not moving. Look at the ground in the room you're in or wherever you are in the chair you're sitting in. The ground doesn't move. Now, if you went outside of this earth, maybe it, maybe it looks like it moves. But anything that I've ever seen outside of this earth isn't just sitting still. What I'm saying is anything that's left the earth that, it, that went into that darkness up above the earth has to be moving. And I'll tell you what, it has to be moving orbital velocity or it's coming back down. Okay? Anything that's ever left the earth has motion. And it's a in and it's a significant motion. It's seventeen thousand miles an hour or faster. There, there's, uh, th this is just an observation that I've made myself. 
I've seen man-made things in the sky. They're in motion, just like the space station or, or uh, Starlink. They're in motion, okay? We, because, like, probably right about now or somewhere within the next half hour, I'll, I'll be, have, have the ISS flying over my house. And I'll go out and I'll watch it. And depending on what time it's coming, coming in the area or whatever, it will be visible for a certain amount of time because there's a reflection of the sun, or it's not necessarily a reflection, but uh, the sun is shining on it and I'm on the ground where it's dark, but I look up to it and I can see it because it's still like daylight up higher. That doesn't prove a round earth. It doesn't say anything about the earth. We're talking about the sky. Okay, so the space station or, or Starlink, when they fly over, they're in motion. Would, would, would you guys say, oh, no, it's not. It's, it, you couldn't say either way. Starlink could be sitting still and and the earth could be rotating. Why, why don't you guys make that argument? Do you get what I, where I'm going here? You guys are fighting against reality and then ridiculing people like me uh, for pointing out simple truth. Simple truth. We observe the sky rotating. We observe the earth stationary. If you have a problem with that, you you want you don't want to live in the reality that you live in and i feel sorry for that frustration that you're going to have but there's truth and then there's ideas that are not true we observe the sky rotating and the ground stationary and people tell me well that you couldn't tell what one was rotating you couldn't tell what one was actually moving but we observe the sky moving. The sky is moving your entire life. That's how we get a year. How long would a year be if the sky wasn't in motion? Well, it wouldn't ever be a year, would it? We don't go around the sun in a year. The stars and the constellations have a cycle and they go through that cycle. And every night they're almost going back to the same position they were 24 hours earlier, but it's slightly different every night. Because they're moving, and you all observe it, and, and I just can't believe how ridiculous uh, this, this stuff is. It's insane. I'm just pointing out simple truth. You don't have to be smart to point your camera at the sky and say, oh, the stars are moving since I took a long exposure and, and got star trails. That's because the stars are moving, guys. And it, there's no argument for that. You, you, there would be, it would be dumb to debate that. Like, why would anyone want to argue with the reality that's obvious? If you want to believe that we see what we see in the sky because the ground's rotating... Go ahead and believe that. But that's not, the, that's not science at all. It, you don't infer the opposite of your observation and say, yeah, it must be that. Just, just an idea. Okay? You don't observe the earth rotating ever. You do observe the sky rotating. Very simple. So, yeah, I hope some people watch this. Wow. Or flat earth. That's, that's all, right, all guys. you really need. All right. Looks like they're done. But yeah, um, come back to reality, guys, because they're, you're headed down a dark road that leads nowhere. And I'm not kidding. The reason why I see this, this truth and the reason why I'm making this video to point out this is so simple and you are actually believing a lie, right? In, you're doing it willingly. And all I'm trying to do, I'm not trying to change what you believe. All I'm trying to do is point out that we don't observe the earth rotating. We observe the sky rotating. 
And if you actually do science and pay attention to those observations, it could mean the world to you. It could change your life in, in ways that, uh, <clears throat> that I don't even hardly believe the way my life's changed. There's a reason why this simple, obvious truth is, is being talked about in this world right now. And it's because there, there's, there's an end to all of this. And don't be on the, the, the opposite side. Be on the side of truth. That's all I can say. So anyway, uh, come back to reality, guys. Have a good one.